Thank you, Sheena. Only on Eyewitness News, a Providence police officer is taken to the hospital after police say he was hit and dragged by a driver during a chase. And tonight we're learning more about that officer's condition and what started the chase in the first place. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now from Providence with a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Well, we're told the officers involved in that pursuit are expected to be okay. Now, this all unfolded after that suspect allegedly took off from a traffic stop, leading police on a bizarre low-speed pursuit that came to an end with the help of a stun gun. This was the aftermath of a low-speed pursuit in Providence's Hartford neighborhood Tuesday night. A blue Jeep wedged in bushes in a backyard off Ophelia Street. Police say that Jeep had been reported stolen, and when officers attempted to pull it over off Hartford Avenue, the suspect took off, striking at least one police officer and a cruiser, making his way to Ophelia, where neighbors couldn't believe their eyes. I just hear the sirens and the police and everything, and when I look, they were just coming. It was just a car just driving really slow. He was literally driving like not even 10 miles per hour. I'm like, what did he do to drive this slow and 15 police officers is right behind him? The man behind the wheel apparently missing this sign warning drivers that the road comes to an end. Police tell us once he was at the bottom of the street, officers again got out of their cruisers only to have the suspect allegedly grab one of those officers and accelerate into this backyard. Police used a stun gun to subdue the suspect. He and his female passenger were taken to the hospital, as was the officer who was dragged by the car. We're told he has minor injuries. Police say they discovered suspected drugs in the Jeep. Now the man they say was behind the wheel is expected to face multiple charges. No, no nice, but it happens, I guess. <laughs> and police tell us that suspect could be in court as soon as tomorrow facing charges including DUI and assault with a deadly weapon. They also tell us that the female passenger could also be facing charges. In Providence, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.